Well, welcome back. Uh, in our last lesson, we talked about how to multiply positive and negative fractions. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to divide positive and negative fractions. And we're going to be using multiplicative inverses or reciprocals to do that. And we've talked about this a little bit already, but this will be a good review for us. So the inverse property of multiplication just says that when you have two numbers that are inverses and you multiply them, you end up getting one. So when you multiply numbers, if you get one as a result, then they are inverses of each other. So if we want to find a multiplicative inverse, um, what we're going to do when we have a mixed number, we need to turn that into an improper fraction. So negative 5 and 2 thirds would be negative 17 thirds as an improper fraction. And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and multiply by the multiplicative inverse. So if I have negative 17 thirds, I would want to multiply that by the opposite reciprocal. So that would be negative 3 seventeenths. Okay. So now when I multiply those, it gives me 1 because the 3s would cancel and the 17s would cancel. And I would end up with 1 as my answer. So the multiplicative inverse would be negative 3 seventeenths. Okay. Here are a couple for you to try. Um, let's go ahead and do one of these together and then you can uh, do these other two. Maybe pause the video and try them on your own. So this first one for letter A, remember we want to write it as an improper fraction. So my denominator will stay the same. Remember we multiply the numbers, the denominator and the whole number, which would give us 6 and then add 1, which is 7. And the sign stays negative. So the multiplicative inverse for this one will be negative 3 sevenths. If we just flip it over, that would be our multiplicative inverse. All right, go ahead and try the letter B and C, and I'll give you the answers when you come back. All right, I hope you gave those a try. Here are your answers for letter B. The multiplicative inverse would be negative 8 fifths, and the multiplicative inverse for C would be 1 over 7. So when we're dividing fractions, the reason we need to use multiplicative inverse is to allow us to go ahead and divide fractions. And the process when we divide fractions, let's say we have these two fractions, 2 fifths divided by 3 fourths. We change that to multiplication, and the fraction that's in the denominator or the one we're being, that's being divided, we end up flipping that. So we change multiplication to, or excuse me, we change division to multiplication. So this gets changed to multiplication right there. And this fraction right here, we find the multiplicative inverse and we multiply by that. So we change from division to multiplication and use the reciprocal. So to divide fractions and mixed numbers, here we go. So we have negative four-fifths, so we're going to take negative four-fifths. The first one stays the same. You just rewrite it. And we change the division sign to multiplication. And then this fraction right here is the one that we flip. So we want 7 over 6 instead of 6 over 7. Now remember we can go ahead and reduce any, um, anything in the numerator and denominator that have common factors. So if I divide by 2 for this one and this one, then I can reduce that. Now I can go ahead and multiply across and I won't have to reduce my fraction. So I get negative 2 times 7 is negative 14 and 5 times 3 is 15. So this is already in reduced form since I reduced before I multiplied and my answer is negative 14 fifteenths. Over on the right hand side, remember we have to change all of our uh, mixed numbers to improper fractions. So this one gives us 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14 divided by 3. Change your division to multiplication. And now this one, let's just go ahead and write this one as an improper fraction first. And this one gives us 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So this would be negative 2 sevenths. So to flip that one, we want negative, excuse me, I said that one was negative 7 over 2. I was thinking ahead of myself. This one would be negative 2 over 7 when we flip it. So is there anything that we can go ahead and divide or simplify? And yes, there is. We can divide by 7 and divide 14 by 7 and get a 2 up here. 
So now we end up, we can, I think that's as much as we can do as far as um, simplifying. So we end up with a fraction 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, and 3 times 1, which is 3. Now if we end up with an improper fraction that's not in simplified form, we need to go ahead and write that as a mixed number. So what we're going to do is take 3, 4, and divide it by 3. So 3 goes into 4 once and then we subtract 3 off of that, we have 1 left. So that would be negative 1 and 1 third in simplified form. Alright, here are six problems for you to try on your own. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll give you some answers when you get back. Alright, I hope you gave those a try. Let's take a look. So letter D, we have 3 over 4. We're going to change that to multiplication and 2 over 1. And then we can go ahead and simplify between the 2 and the 4. This one becomes a 2, this one becomes a 1, and we end up with 3 over 2, which is equal to 1 and 1 half. Okay? Letter E, that one, we have negative 1 over 4 multiplied by 8 over 7 when we flip it. And I'm going to go through these pretty fast, so I'm saving time on the video here. Divide by 4, and we get a 1 and a 2, so we end up with negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, and 1 times 7 is 7. Letter F, negative 2 thirds, rewrite that one, change it to multiplication, flip the one on the right, and what can we um, reduce? Doesn't look like there's anything that will cancel in here, so we're going to have to just go ahead and multiply across. Um, 2 times 5, negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10, 3 times 3 is 9. So we have one more step on this one is to write it as a mixed number, which is 1 and 1 ninth. All right, down at the bottom we're going to have some fourths, and that one's going to give us 8 plus 3, which is 11, change to multiplication. This one, um, if we were to write that as an improper fraction, would be 11 fifths, and it would be negative. So when we flip it, we're going to get negative 5 elevenths. And there's nothing to reduce, so we can go ahead and multiply across. Oh, whoops, there is something we can reduce. Almost missed that. The 11s will cancel, right? If we divide by 11, those will both be 1. So we'll get, um, when we go ahead and multiply across now, we will get negative 5 over 4, which is equal to negative 1 and 1 fourth. Letter H, multiply or changing this one to an improper fraction is 3 over 2. Change the division to multiplication, and this one as an improper fraction would be 6 plus 1 is 7 thirds, so we're going to do 3 sevenths. And nothing to reduce there, so we'll go ahead and multiply across and we get 9 fourteenths. Letter I, uh, this one would be negative 3 over 2, multiplied by, now this one is a fraction is 12 over 1, so the reciprocal will be 1 over 12. And this one we can go ahead and reduce. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 12 four times. So now we can go ahead and multiply across and we get negative 1 over 2 times 4 which is 8. Alright, here's a word problem for you. It says Lena's class is making flags for the school's International Day celebration. She needs 1 and 1 6 feet of paper for the blue portion on each flag. If the class has a 21-foot roll of blue paper, how many flags can she make out of that 21-foot roll? So basically, we're trying to take 21 and divide it by 1 and 1 sixth. So 21 divided by 1 and 1 sixth, we need to change this one to an improper fraction, which is 7 over 6. Then we're going to change it to multiplication, 21 over 1 times 6 over 7. And then we can reduce 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 21 divided by 7 is 3. Then we can multiply across and we get 18. So she can make 18 flags out of that 21 and a half foot roll. Alright, here's another one for you. How many one and a half inch thick boards are in a stack that is 36 inches tall? So basically, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take 36 inches and you're going to divide it by one and one half. So why don't you go ahead and do the math on that and bring your answer to class. We'll see you next time.